Okay, so Starkovsky through, Andy Murray through as well. And in the end, after that first set, Annabelle, it was very straightforward, wasn't it? Yeah, no problems at all for Andy. Interesting him talking about his wrist though, waking up every morning with it feeling a bit sore and not happy with the constant change in the type of balls that they use at different tournaments, Greg. Yeah, well that, that's something the players have to say. I thought it was interesting to hear how he said uh, he, he couldn't get any rhythm from his opponent today, so he just thought, right, I'm going to try and take something out of this match, work on a few things, and that's exactly what we saw him doing. He was very aggressive from the back, from the word go. He started to chip on returns or tee off on them and try and get into the net. We saw him serve volleying as well, so he was certainly introducing different elements of the game just to try and, as he said, take something away from it because mm. Dustin Brown doesn't give you any rhythm out there. No, he doesn't. Well, well Greg was giving him ten games uh, before the start. In the end, he only had eight, but for that first set, at least, he was a handful. Are you disappointed at the way he tailed off in the second and third? in his game today and that is the key yeah. is being having the balance and you know serving volley was out a few times today the short ball taking it on so it was a good result and a good performance from Andy Murray. So much has been made about his serve over the past few weeks in particular the second serve in general how do you feel that department of his game is functioning at the moment? Well I think he's practicing it every day. Certainly so far at least everything he's had to do he has done with the, the minimum of fuss. Yeah I mean everything is just uh, looking great at the moment. I understand to be pleased with the way she fought her way back from three love down and Greg beforehand you were just wondering about the thigh but she said there that physically she's feeling okay going into the second week so any reason why she shouldn't pick up another US Open crown? Another interesting thing that's developing um, not just in the women's game the men's game as well obviously Roger Federer traveling around with his children we've got Kim Kleister's one or two other players it's becoming almost fashionable now to have a child or two in so we it's not, it's not affecting the tennis from the looks of things really. okay uh, before we get out to that Ivanovic match let's uh, round up all the other headlines today by the way, Stanislas Vavrinko is closing in on the first set against Juan Ignacio Cheddar. They're playing out on court six, which is a non-televised court, but we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated on that. Greg, assuming it is Vavrinka next, um, always saying that, you know, if he...